Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, baby mamas, baby daddies, non-binary pals, and everybody in between, welcome back to the channel. And you know what? Before we get into today's video, what we're going to be reacting to when wrestling companies insult WWE and their wrestlers, I got to give you guys a quick update. The channel isn't dead. We're just going in a different direction. But in the meantime, before we upload any more WWE games or WWE 2K22 or AEW games content, I will be doing these reaction videos once again on the channel. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. But without further delay, let us go to when wrestling companies insult WWE and their wrestlers. Can you dig it, dig it sucker? Dig it, sucker. Yes, yes. Hey, look, guys. I know you guys are like watching the match, you know, but like for television purposes, just trust me. I've done this a long time. Turn okay. this way. It works for television purposes. It's really good. Okay. Watch the monitor. They, they get a good profile oh shot. You know. You're right. It looks, you're kidding. It works well. Trust me. No, Who watches TV like no. that? No. <laughs> We're not gonna use celebrity guest hosts every week on this show. It's the dumbest damn idea I've ever heard. Jerry Lawler and Jim Cornette invaded the ECW. And Sabu and Van Dam, they're with them. The Monday evening, I'm sitting home watching TV that WWF I'll tell you what, Vince, from me to you, man to p I'm on your oh, sister, shit. That lavish office. With all your jabronis kissing your fat ass, ask him, Vince. Ask Van Dam. Ask Why are you him so what mad? I am. Beat me if you can. Survive if I let you. Why are you so mad? Man, what did he do to make them that mad? Sometimes doesn't want to hear their fan. We love professional wrestling that you will not see on the other channel. You will not see legends. Who are respected on the other channel? Enjoy your blood money. Maybe next week, PW Dynamite can run in Saudi Arabia. Didn't the cons do business with Saudi Arabia? So that really wasn't a zinger, if you ask me. But all right, continue. Seen busted my ass so that I could secure a job with a major wrestling company. I achieved that dream after six and a half years. I achieved that dream. I got hired over there. At first, I had over a rocket there. ship up my ass, and then a little birdie got inside the boss's head. I think, uh, I think Kenny might be a little too funny. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think he's ready for it. All this stuff that you see right here, I was told not to do. I was told how to walk, how to talk, how to freaking dress. Hey, I was told that I couldn't even chew gum on the way to the rink. You would get tested again here in AEW, because John, as you know, we don't run a sloppy shop. His chin dusted off the cobwebs. He used to be cool, but only when he had an edge. Hey, yo, Seidel, you tripping? Climb to the top. I can't lie. The acclaim were cheesy to me at first, but they've grown on me. Everybody loves the acclaim. That's ridiculous. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, ah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Come on. It doesn't matter how elite you are. It doesn't matter if you're the boss, the man, a king, the queen. I'm sorry. Does anybody else think that moves sound like mush mouth? A boss, a queen, a king. Like, bro, you sound like mush mouth. I'm sorry. If they reboot Fat Albert, he could be a good mush mouth. <laughs> Punk. But you know what happened? On that fan fest, give me a second for real, show some respect. Seriously, my man, you know, Steve Austin ain't here, dog, relax. It's good that Eddie is not the only one that is annoyed with the what chance. The what chance are the most annoying thing to ever exist. I am, I love Stone Cold Steve Austin, but him introducing the US fans to the what chance, it causes me to hold some sort of disdain in my heart for that man. Stop. You see, what's standing here before you is not some silly gang of angry rookies. Nah, nah, that ain't the only time they picked. It's probably gonna be in this list too, but AE TNA Galaxy, AEW Galaxy is literally a shot at WWE Universe. I'm just saying. 
We the reason for the people in the seats. Y'all are less popular than Glenn Jacobs' tweets. Facts. On this microphone, in that ring, even at commentary, nobody can touch me. That on this mic, and in this ring, even at commentary, nobody can touch me. You bobble-headed, ugly-ass, less talented version of Paul Heyman. I actually prefer Jim Cornette. I'm not scared of you, mister. Why would I be oh, scared God. of one of Bobby Lashley's sisters? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm gonna put you in the poverty dog because I ain't careers quicker than your father-in-law. <laughs> Filter, I ain't Instagram. We make the ass boys retire like Vince McMahon. Who we'll beats you down and you know the rest. John Moxley is the third best guy in his own group. That seems to be a reoccurring theme in his career. Look at me, old man. And the best there ever will. Actually, scratch that. That catchphrase sucks. Before the last, before the last name that you have to take. Is Johnny 205? Johnny 205. Weren't you in 205 Live and you lost three times? Got more people hearing me than January 6th. Honestly, I had something to say, but somebody made me sign an NDA. Chris oh. Danger. Even the man with three H's would be proud of the way we buried this young, promising talent. And take that brass ring and shove it up your ass. And Tony, why we give this guy a chance when we beat them in the ratings? He was their champ. We the John Cena guys, that's so petty. But we John Cena, the young bucks, Janetti. The way Marty Janetti set up, that insult needs to die. If anybody gets compared to Marty Janetti, I feel some type of way. And not in a way like, oh, nah, the dude is weird. He is, he is weird. Be honest, man. What would you be doing if there was no AEW? Oh, I know. You'd probably be jerking the curtain tonight at the Performance Center. Probably not. That was not even a zinger. It's Chris Jericho. Whether you like the guy or not, that dude is not going to be jerking the curtain at the development. Y'all are making zingers at development. <laughs> All right. Glad they could join us. Sledgehammer and all. Yeah. They look a little rough. Yes, the food is that blackface? Mafia, I believe they. Well, they got some. Fucking blackface. Done pretty good job of getting the man in it for those of you scoring at home. We are in the world today. Okay, hold on. We the people sucks and it's dead and buried. It was a stupid idea from bad creative and all that's gone. <laughs> I'm sure I am not allowed to say his name. I thought that tactical vest was just covering up failed drug tests. What the hell? Oh. Hey, Vince McMahon came knocking at my door. I told Vince McMahon. You can kiss my ass! You don't take that shirt off. I'm not gonna take it off you. They are. <laughs> Burn that shirt. Oh, damn. Man, he went the to go work for them a few years later. One freaking commercial or one press release to let you know that we're here. The network is going to give a hundred million dollars to Vince McMahon like he needs it to replace us. We're not a publicly funded company like Vince McMahon or WCW. And everybody wants to do a shoot. This, my friends, is a shoot. I'm not a sports right. entertainer, Chris. Pow, pow. This is a wrestling company, not a sports entertainment company. My man, go down the block. Except I guarantee that they that line where it's like this is not a sports entertainment company, but then they have gimmicks like the Jericho Appreciation Society or Dan Housen. Not knocking those talents, but it's okay. Like I might people might hate this, but sports entertainment and professional wrestling is pretty much the same thing. It's not really much of a oh I'm a sports entertainer. Or, oh I'm just a professional, bro. You're, you're all doing the same. It ain't a knock. This sports entertainment will actually be entertaining. Because this little thing, oh, this God. little thing on your chinny chin chin here, I am the one who made this fashionably cool. 
before anyone else did. And I am the one who should be receiving big, fat royalty checks from all of those people who are blatantly ripping me off. This is Carter thinks she made beards. Okay, woman. <laughs> Wanna have a wrestling match? Because I promise you, Most it's mouth. going to last as long as your Intercontinental Championship run. Oh. You're nothing but a Mid Carter. Oh. You should change your name to Mid Cardoner. You have the audacity to call yourself the Runaway. You didn't run away from anything. You got fired. It was the best damn thing to ever happen to me. He's just a less famous Miz. <laughs> I remember the internet going, going crazy. Out here preaching hustle, loyalty, and respect. The only way you're going to be number one is if we all wait around long enough for Tony to have a daughter that you marry. Tony Khan out here ratioing people lesser than him on Twitter. It's going to be a minute before he get that daughter. <laughs> he said no bitches. He said you do not be having sex, right? You get no bitches. It's absolutely the biggest athlete in professional wrestling. Paul White. Yeah, where my world in the justice started. In the world in the palm of my hand. I don't know the worlds. Let's move on. Who the fuck is that? Carrying the flag of the World Wrestling Federation. Hey! A world class here at this sold out ECW arena. Remember, Taz has. Oh my god! I just. Good lord. <laughs> A lot of people ain't gonna agree with what I said about certain things like the sports entertainment stuff, but hey man, let me know what you guys think. And more videos are on the way, WWE 2K22 or WWE games, the gaming stuff isn't going away, it's just I'm expanding the channel going forward. Hopefully you guys can stick along with the ride. I just messed that up, but we're gonna roll with the punches. With that being said, you guys stay safe out here in these streets and remember to always eat, sleep, flex, and repeat. We out, be breezy.